Hello friends, this is Gopika of Photon CSA Kotarakra Level 1. Uh, today I am here to tell the review of the book The Diving Bell and the Butterfly. The Diving Bell and the Butterfly is a memoir of the journalist Jean Dominic Bobo. It describes his life before and after suffering a massive stroke that left him with locked in syndrome. The main thing to tell about the book is that Bobo's right eye had to be sewn up due to an irrigation problem. So the entire book was written by Bobo blinking his left eyelid which took about 10 months. Using partner assisted scanning, he managed to complete the book. So now I am going to read the summary of some chapters. First of all, Prelude. Jean Dominic Bobo begins by detailing his rosing in room 119 at the Maritime Hospital at birth the morning the year after the stroke that led to his locked-in syndrome. He recalls the days that followed and the resulting limitations, paralysis and blinking in his left eyelid. His mind on the other hand is active and he prepares for the publisher's emissary arrival though his thoughts are interrupted by a nurse. The wheelchair. He is visited by many medical professionals. His situation has been fully sunk in and he does not fully understand the connotation of the wheelchair. It isn't until a comment is made by the occupational therapist that it becomes clear to him. Prayer. There are only two patients at Burke that have locked in syndrome. His case is unique in that he maintains the ability to turn his head. He hopes to improve his respiration and regain his ability to eat without a gastric tube, as well as possibly to be able to speak again. His friends and family have dedicated to all kinds of religious and spiritual deities on his recovery and he has assigned specific parts of, the, of his body to some two. Bath time. His physical therapist arrives for the exercise mobilization where his limbs are moved. He has lost, uh, lost 60 pounds in 20 weeks. He notes that he has more mobilization in his head as he can rotate it 90 degrees. He recounts that even with limited facial expression, he still has varying emotions each time he is clean or given a bath. The alphabet. He describes the creation, use and precision of the alphabet he uses to communicate. E S A R I N T U L O M D P C F B B H G J Q Z Y X K W. He ordered the letters from the most common to the least in the French language. His visitors read the alphabet and when he hears the letter he wishes for them to write down. He blinks his left eye. This is not without uh, without its challenges though. The Empress Empress Eugene, wife of Napoleon III, was the patroness of the hospital which contains various depictions of her. He tells of an imperial visit on May 4th, 1864 where he imagines himself beside her. In one of the depictions, he sees a reflection that he finds disfigured but then realizes that it is his. Sine Sita The author describes the location of Maritime Hospital at Berg which is in the past day Calais. On one occasion that he is being wheeled through the hospital corridors, he sports a corner of the hospital which contains a lighthouse which he names Sine Sita. Tourists. The author says Burke, the hospital, focuses primarily on the care of young tuberculosis patients following the Second World War. It has now shifted towards older patients which make up most of the hospital's population. He refers to tourists as those who spend a short time in the hospital following injuries such as broken limbs. For him, the best place to observe this is in the rehabilitation room and the interactions he has with these patients. The sausage. He doesn't pass his dietary test 
as yogurt and as his airway so he eats through a tube connected to his stomach his only taste of food in his memories when he is in his memories when he imagines himself cooking dishes one food is the sausage which connects to a memory from his childhood guardian angel the author refers to sandrine his speech therapist who has developed his communication code for him he undergoes speech therapy with her and is in the process of regaining vocal language he listens to his daughter celeste his father and florence speak to him on phone but is unable to reply the photo the last time the author saw his father was a week before his stroke where he had shaved him he describes his aging father in this chapter he receives calls from his father from time to time he recalls a photograph from his father on the back of which it was written death sir men april 1963 yet another coincidence the author identifies with alexandre dumas character from the count of monte cristo noiter de villefort as this character is on a wheelchair and must blink to communicate noiter must be the first case of locked in syndrome in literature the author would like to write a modern take of this classic where monte cristo is a woman the dream he recounts a dream in which he and his friend bernard are trudging through thick snow as they try to return to france even as it is a bad it is paralyzed by a general strike then bernard and he have an appointment with an influential italian italian businessman whose headquarters are in the pillar of via twit upon entering the headquarters he meets the watchman Radovan Karadzic a Serbian leader Bernard tells that the author is having trouble breathing and the Serbian leader performs a tracheotomy on him they have drinks at the headquarters and he discovers that he has been struck the police arrive and as everyone tries to escape he finds himself unable to move only a door separates him from freedom he tries to call for his friends but he cannot speak realizing that reality has permeated the dream season of renewal this is the last chapter of the book summer is ending it is now september and the author describes the events that comes with it he can now grin a song about a candle an ability which he attributes to his speech therapist Claude rewrites the pages of his of the text that they have written together of the past two months, and he wonders whether it is enough to fill a book. He closes the book with "Does the cosmos contain key for opening up my diving bell? A subway line with no termin terminus? A currency strong enough to buy my freedom back? We must keep looking. I'll be off now." So that's it. Um, and i really hope all of you would try reading the book so thank you